He's Nicholas back in the house, back in the house, back in that house. Today we have Legacy OS 2017. Now, some of you may not even remember this or know anything about it. It's actually based on Puppy 2 series, or Teen Pup, or other names as well, actually. Saying that again. So it comes from back, back, back in the day. And it is really meant for old machines. So if you've got a single core machine, ideal. If you've got a new machine, you can give it a go, but I'm not promising anything. So if you've got a machine from 2009 and backwards, it'll probably work fine. Basically, it's to stop you throwing away old machines into the tip, okay, and wasting stuff. You can get a fully functional machine, even though it's that old, okay, it won't do some things, but a fully functional desktop for just browsing, music, watching videos, typing, and general stuff that you may want to do, okay. Now, I've installed it, okay, to the hardy drive of the virtual of the box, okay, and this is the best resolution I can get. I'm not even sure if it would do a 1080 screen, to be honest with you. Because XL won't work for me for some reason. And I can't bother to play around with it too much at the moment because I've got to go out soon. But anyway, this is what you get. An awful lot for your CD size ISO. And you can bet to a USB if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. But it comes in at a full size, so 698, 699. But you get all the software with it. There is no repo as such, okay? So what you see here is basically what you get. You don't get nothing else, baby. No. No, 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 nothing. This will get. So, we'll start from the bottom. <clears throat> Time and date, okay. Mail, which is K-Mail as far as I'm aware. Here we get, ooh, my CPU load, not a lot. And here we get, ooh, yeah, that's my stuff. This is my network. I'm connected to the Ethernet here. Now, one of the best things about this version, the 2017 version, is there is basic Wi-Fi, okay. Basic Wi-Fi. Whether it'll work for you or not, I couldn't tell you, okay. So I'm not going to try that bit. It's entirely up to you. But if you if you run it from the live CD, chuck in a USB device and see what happens if it connects to your wireless device. Who knows? It's your volume control here. Four desktops. You can have as many as you like. Now, next icon on the bottom here. Mount your CDs, USB drivers, etc., etc. With your mounter. Here we have a quick launch menu. So here we can go straight to the terminal. Force a close. Notes. Search for files. Calculator. Desktop icons. Ooh. So you can have desktop icons if you wanted to. Entirely up to you. Just chuck them on the desktop. Yeah, easy peasy. Rooks is your main file manager here. And if you want to do any installing of stuff, because he is going to release stuff on Sourceful Software, is it? So, anyway, something like that, he's going to release stuff on Sourceforge <coughs> uh, when he gets the time. Because remember, he is a one man band, okay? He's not a legend, he's just been doing it on his own for ages and ages. There's a couple of folders here. We get Opera as one of your browsers. I'll open it for you. There we go. I should take it straight to the BBC Sport page. You see, the resolution is just not right for me. But you could change this from within the browser, so I'm not too worried to be better. Bothered with you, really. Yeah, not too worried. Next along the line, we have Amrock. Ooh. Amrock's always been a good player, anyway. So if you've got a music collection you want to play, another nice thing to have, okay? On an old machine that you've probably got in the cupboard. It's got loads of dust on it. Let's get rid of it. Um, no, I'm just going away, Amrock. If I remember correctly, you have to right click. So if you right click there, we're quit. Thank you. And go away. Here we have start your desktop sidebar. Well, I've already done that for you. Now you can place it anywhere on the screen you want to, really. So if I right click here, I can unlock that and move it to say here. Okay. If you fancy it on that side, entirely up to you. Lock it back into position. You can configure it how you want to. No big deal. It does what you say on the tin. And here we have Show Desktop. Okay. So this is your quick start menus, really. Okay. So there's plenty here for you. Look. There's lots of office stuff. Lots of everything, really. So I'm going to go through some of it with you. Not all of it, because I could be here for some time. So I'm going to right click on the desktop, because it's puppy, basically. You get desktop settings. Look at all the stuff you can do there. Set your time and time zone. And some applets for you, if you want them. Lovely. What, I mean, what more could you want, really? In system. System info. All your running processes. Your logs. Everything is there for you. No, it's not. Really. Partitions. Configure your bootloader. Format your hard drives. You get Gparted and PDisc as well here. System scheduler for your Gcron stuff. Or your cron tabs, basically, for me and you. And the setup. The package manager takes you straight to SourceForce. Okay? Or Source. You know what I'm saying. Of course you do. And the wizard. 
you can configure anything you want. So if you're used to Puppy Linux or even know, and if you know Puppy Linux from back in the day, you always like this. Okay, it'll just take you back in time. All right, some things may be not working for you. Give it a go. Find out. Install and remaster. Okay, you can install it to a hard drive or a USB disk. I would suggest for you try a USB disk just to start with, and you'll get better results than I've got here. Or you may not. I'm not so sure how far the screen resolution is going to go. All right. Accessories. Right, we could be here sometime, but I'm just going to go through them. A batch renamer. Uh, learn the periodic table. Uh, reload menu. Under zip. Two zip packages. Okay. System backup. Backup all your files and folders. <sighs> Resize my personal storage. <sighs> Blimey. Command line. Four. And run old DOS programs in DOSBox. Already here for you. So if you're like... A lot older than me, and you're going, oh, I'll give that a go. That'll bring back some memories. Give it a go. Folders and drives. I'm not even going to go through that one. Oh, God. Graphics and photos. Here we go. Make your own cover art. On screen ruler. A magnifier. And a drawing. Advanced artwork. A vector graphics with Inkscape. Oh, I like Inkscape. Should we see if it works? Yes, if it works. Ta da! No problem. Oh, lovely. Whew. Okay, so we've done drawing. CAD. Right, you even get CAD stuff here, okay? And he's all oh, right. This is Sweet Home 3D. I'm not going to open it for you, but basically you can, like, design your own house. You just put in the, the measurements and off it goes. Digital, digital, digital camera. It's Digicam. Photo management. Photo print, show photo, GPIC view. Blimey, they're all there. That's all your scanners. You can configure all your printers as well on another menu. Find a colour. Screen capture. So take a screenshot under office. Okay, miscellaneous. Create charts with K chart. Star dict. Under office. Okay, scribers. K presenter. G numeric and Abbey Word. Let's open G numeric. Okay, nice and quick. Not using too much RAM. Remember, most of these systems that you've got under the cupboard or in the stairs or wherever you're going to keep or in the loft, they might only have 512 megabyte of RAM. You know, if you're lucky. Or a gig if you're really lucky. I think my um, Pentium 4s have still got a gig in. One stick, yeah. One stick. Okay, right, click again. Pass off. Should do more of it. Oh, viewers, PDF tools, so you can actually merge PDFs, convert to a PDF. There's another puppy, old puppy program there. Under calculate, calculate as personal. Okay. Countdown timer, X journal, okay. Dial up a network, don't even tell you that. Internet, two browsers, I've said. K mail for your mail. Kadu for your chat clients. There's a bit torrent stuff here for you. A download managers, four of. Under miscellaneous here, miscellaneous, or oh, so wish were on one TV card, even whether that work, I don't know. I'm not even going to try it today. Okay, audio and video be here on Amrock, Java Tune Stream Tuner for audio online radio. Socks, okay, sound converters, Audacity, Kid 3s here, MIDI wave stuff, okay, video tools, convert AVIs to CDs and DVDs, create your own DVDs, <gasps> DVD Ripomatic for ripping all you done stuff you're not allowed to do, DVD 9 to DVD 5 backup tool, because you're only backing up your DVDs, aren't you? Remember, because that's all we do. Recall my desktop is here. You have to put your own parameters in. I'll show you, because it doesn't know what to do. So you just put your custom stuff in, or you could hit the grab button and do what you want to. Start recording in, recording out. Mm. <whistles> nice, okay. See you, Les. <sighs> Do you see how much stuff is here? And I'm not even touching on half of it here. Not even half of it. So anyway, that's, that's where it was. You get XVID cap. Now, I'm not sure if that's any good these days, really. But on an old machine, if you just want to do basic demos, that might be an idea. So if you're doing, uh, yeah, whatever you're going to do with it. X264 video encoder. Mmm. Three CD players. Multimedia. We've got caffeine, KM player, M player, SM player, VLC, M real player. Really? Is that still going? Didn't even realise, to be honest with you. MP3 management. Convert music CDs to MP3s. Rip your soul. Create music with Hydro John. Tuning guitars. A metronome. And a synthesizer. Okay. I've got to see this. But oh my god, this is a really old one. 093. Back in time for breakfast. Okay. Click on OK. I'll make it full screen. Yes, you can do all the stuff you want. Let's see. So it is worth that free download. Obviously, if you've got a few shekels to spare, you know, pop it his way. Even if it's just a quid. I might make a couple of tea for him, might I? Anyway, whoa, is that enough there? Oh, a couple of mixers, sorry. 
Get some CD burners and DVD burners, lovely. A printer manager for managing your printers. Games, there are some games, okay. Not too many. You know, I'm running out of time to it. I'll go out in a minute. Uh, mind games, <clears throat> load. Card games, load. Arcade games, there is plenty to keep you occupied, okay. But the control panel. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Change your background, application and themes. That's everything here, look. Screen keyboard. Position your sidebar. Well, I've shown you how to do that. Set up your hardware. This is just a control panel way of doing it. It might be an easy way to do it for you. I've already configured my firewall. I've done everything. Set up your sound card. Yeah, do all that if you want to. System settings and app recoveries. Look, blimey. You can even recover stuff. So it does actually come with quite a lot of stuff. And I'll go to the release information. And he says here... It's going to be the last one. I mean, he's been working for God knows how long. A really, really long time. But remember, it may not work on your computer because it might be too new. Okay, Your computer, even old to you, may be too new. Mm. But for reviving a really old computer, just get another couple of years out of it to say, chucking it away, All right, give it a go. It's a free download. It's free. It's not going to cost you anything but your time. I like it. I've always liked it, and it's, as it's got a purpose to bring old machines back to life. Yes, it may not play YouTube videos, but I'm sure there's a way around that. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.